and welcome back. So, last week we went to Ostagar from the village of Hondleith, and have so far cleared out like, all the surface this level, and we're about to uh, head into the lower levels of the Tower of Rishal. Upper levels apparently being completely barricaded, we can't get in. Um, the curious thing about this is that I don't see any way of actually getting up here. There's no ladder or, or ropes or anything, so it's kind of wondering how exactly the uh, dark spawn got up from here. Yeah. Also, not entirely clear how I'm getting down there either. I suppose if I have a rope or something, I could do it. Anyway, let's see what's down here. Darkspawn, what a surprise! Broken chest with a dead dark spawn next to it. I wonder here how that thing died. Mm, that sounds like a spider. And it is a spider. So it's one thing I even looking at these spiders is um modern spiders have two Major branches. Um, one is most of them. The other is a uh, larger spider, I think, down in Southeast Asia. But I think one of the major differences is that the uh, smaller branch, the one I think is in Southeast Asia, still has armor or plates, at least on its abdomen, which is apparently the ancestral condition. So I guess this might be. One of those things. Hey, it's poison so potent that it can make make <laughs> a golem, which in theory has no blood, spray burgundy around. Skull just sitting on the ground there. Interesting. Hmm. Kumi area. What that symbol is supposed to be? Probably something Deventer, because this is supposedly built by, well, built by the dwarves for the Deventers. Rebel, where are you? I would like to search you, please. Thank you. Spider below the belt. First question: Where would a spider wear a belt? I think the answer being is that the spider would not wear a belt. There's a 
also got a question as to why exactly this area would be built. Hmm. It's interesting like this place I'm actually gonna be building or if it's just window dressing. I mean, this looks like it's probably a tomb. These look like maybe dwarven sarcophagi. I think that's a floor on it. AI having a little bit of an issue there. Rubble. As you say. People think like, oh, that the permanent structures is that they built stone and it'll last for a thousand years. Mm, technically, the weathering still happens. It's, things collapse, trees. I'm trying to think of something that he told me that has no relevance to this, but uh, I'm not remembering anything. It's no question as to what exactly this room is for. Just a gathering area, I guess? Anyway, on we go. It will be dark. Maybe you might want to stay away from shale. 
It's not friendly towards your kind. I wasn't. Well, actually, I was there to see that. Bit. <laughs> Raven just bouncing around. Just Dead thing is directed. I looked impressed. reduce the amount of fighting I had to do. There's kind of an interesting thing with uh, this game and necromancy as it's called. Is that apparently necromancy doesn't really exist. It's at least not in the way it exists in like, other settings. You're not using magic to reanimate a corpse so much. There it is. The last of them. It has been a long day. By the lines around your eyes, I dare say you look as old as I. And if I may say so, milady, you appear to be getting younger by the day. Be careful who you flirt with, young man. <laughs> when you wake up beside me tomorrow morning, I'll be back to reminding you of your grandmother. Beside you? You heard what I said. It would not be the first time I woke to a younger man in my bed. Are all women this evil and conniving when they grow old? Just me, my dear. <laughs> Just me. As opposed to Morgan, who's evil and conniving. Start. But anyway, as I was saying, necrancy doesn't seem so much exist in this setting. Uh, it's not a thing of the uh, reanimating the corpse. It's you're summoning a spirit to possess the corpse. And Spirit that animates it. Of course. Why am I alone? Alistair, are you all right? Oh, they left him here to rot. We need to do something. <sighs> so, one note is that... I don't believe that the dwarves actually cremate their dead, so I doubt that the first thing I would think of is cremating him. Um, and this... Maybe a limit of the uh, game engine, but he doesn't look particularly rotted. But they might also not have wanted to uh, depict an actual corpse that's been out here for as long as this has. It's however long that's been, even as the uh, timing is kind of unclear. Also, kind of surprising that nothing has tried to eat him, though. I mean, it is kind of cold out, and there are dark spawn everywhere. I didn't think that dark, uh, cold could keep away flies. But in any case, he is a royal blood and deserves a pyre. He was a good man, who hoped too much, and died too young. He deserves what little honor we can afford to grant him.
Alright. Is that now time to get out of here? real life, I'm not sure I'd want to go under that half-fallen tower. I had to go to camp, because the next plan is to go to Flemeth's hut, but I don't think I want to go with this current party. I was kind of questioned to whom we'd actually want to bring. Um, Zevran might be fine with killing an old woman. Sten might be fine with killing a mage. Um, Shale as well. Morgan we can't bring because, well, it's just how the game works. You can't actually do that. But Wind would probably have an issue with it. Liliana would probably have an issue with it. Alistair would probably have an issue with it. Jory. Thank you, Jory. But, yeah, I've heard that dogs will frequently be um, in conflicts. They will attack, like, might attack the person they view as being the aggressor. I think there's actually an instance of a police dog attacking a police officer because the police officer as being the aggressive party in that case. Um, I suspect that guard police dog wasn't a guard dog for much longer. But, so, um, yeah. Okay. for this. Alright. I'm going to go back to Costco. Limits hut. And yep, for some reason we walk all the way back to Lothering before coming back to Limits hut.
Okay. And uh, this battle might demonstrate why I like to have a healer with me. Hello, Simon. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? We know your little secret, Flemon. <laughs> Which one, I wonder? What has Morrigan told you, hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? She knows how you extend your natural lifespan. That she does. The question is, do you? Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? What do you propose? Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. And what happens to you? I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day. Or I may simply watch. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening, even. Would you give an old woman that? You think she will believe that? We believe what we want to believe. It's all we ever do. No, forget it. Shame. What will it be then? How you die. It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Come. She will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way. the stone I shall be back. Yep. Why did you stop? was just Thank you guys. It will be done.
Robes of Possession. Sure, I'm going to put Morgan in that. Of course. All right, now back to camp. Yes, Troy. Hi. Trying to find a way through the earth, are we? It's going to take some time, you know. Well, good luck with that. So, Zevran, how do you feel after having just killed Nolan? Here I am. I want to discuss something personal. Oh, this should be good. What would you like to discuss? Never mind. Mm. Here I am. Do you want to answer some questions? Oh. This should be good. Go ahead. What is your opinion of the Dalish? I know little enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one, or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. All is tale in the book. Was the woodcutter your father? How should I know? My mother was a whore, as you'll recall. None of the other elven boys in the whorehouse knew their fathers. I was not so unusual. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. Until eventually I was sold to the crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. What does this have to do with the Dalish? My original point is that my mother's Dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. They were of Dalish make, I knew that much, and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered, and I never saw them again. But how do you feel about the Dalish in general? I don't feel anything about them. Oh, we heard about them in the city. Even deep in Antiva. I even had the notion once to run off and join them. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. All right. I win. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? You know about Morgan and me? I mean, we're in camp and her tent is barely a tent, so yeah. We... Well, she's hardly discreet. The way she looks at you, it's as though she's completely forgotten there's anything of you above the waist. That's rather blunt. <laughs> There's a lot more of me below the waist. Oh, sweet maker. Is a little decorum too much to ask? Sorry. Moving along now, I've noticed your blossoming relationship. And I wanted to ask you where you thought it was going. She is a cunning woman, a Maleficar. She will use you for her own ends. As opposed to you, who are a cunning woman who is an abomination.
There's more to us than that. I am telling you what I see and what my instincts tell me. And even if the feelings you share are genuine, this affair may not be the best thing for either of you. You are a Grey Warden. You have responsibilities which supersede your personal desires. I can handle my responsibilities and my relationship. Love is ultimately selfish. It demands that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of all else. A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? What am I supposed to do? Tell Morgan to go away. You may have to, to save one or both of you unnecessary anguish later on. Do you know of love? You've never left the circle. Though I probably wouldn't understand that, really. I know more about love's enchantment and its perils than I care to tell. But perhaps this is one lesson that cannot be taught. I have given my advice. Do with it what you will. Liliana, hello. Something I can help with? I'd like to talk, talk to you about something. Yes? What's <coughs> on your mind? Sorry. Do you miss anything about Orlais? I miss Valroyo. Unlike other cities where the people are the lifeblood and the character, Valroyo was her own person, and her people little more than decorations. There was always music in Valroyo, streaming from the many windows, quiet refrains and triumphant choruses, and always floating above that all, the chant coming from the Grand Cathedral. It was magnificent. I've never been to Orlais. If you get the chance, you should see it, at least Val Royaux. Of course, there are good things and bad things about Orlais, like anywhere else. Sometimes I miss it dearly, and sometimes I'm glad I'm rid of it. And you will laugh at this, but I miss the fine things I had in Orlais. What sorts of things? Dresses, fine dresses and furs, and shoes, of course. One can't mingle with nobility with bad shoes, you see. Orlais is very fashionable, almost ridiculously so. <gasps> but the shoes! Living with those ridiculous trends was worth it for the shoes. Oh, I love shoes. When I left Orlais, the fashion was shoes with delicate tapered heels and embellishments in the front. A ribbon, perhaps, or embroidery. In soft colors, of course. It was spring. Wouldn't those be hard to walk in? I wouldn't want to run in it, or have to enter battle. But for lounging in a lady's sitting room? Perfect. The shoes made in Orlais were exquisite. Not at all like these clunky fur-lined leather boots you have in Ferelden. Yeah, just look at them. They're comfortable. They're sturdy shoes, but sometimes a girl just wants to have pretty feet. Oh, I could talk about shoes all day, but we have things to do, don't we? Hello, Alistair. Look, before we go any further, I want to say something. I appreciate that you brought me to see my sister, and that you... Well, that you were there to talk me down after we left. You're a true friend. I just wanted to tell you that. We're in this together, Alistair. That we are. I have your back. You know that, right? Well, now that that's out of the way, I... ask away. I have some questions. Of course. If you're raised in Chantry, have you never 
Never, never what? Had a good pair of shoes? Sex? Oh, so that's what we're talking about. <laughs> well, if you really want to know, you tell me first. That would be a lie. Many, many times. And apparently you have no shame as well. <laughs> well, all right, I'll play along. I myself never had the pleasure. Not that I haven't thought about it, of course. But, you know. Oh, I see, you lack the proper parts. Oh, that's funny. Your cruel japes will be remembered, sir. If you hear sobbing later, that's me crying myself to sleep. At least you'll get some decent rest. Ha ha ha. Your cruel interrogation will be remembered forever. Or maybe just until lunch. Lunch makes everything better. Oh, look, I have cheese. Cheese! Sven! Yes. Let's see if we have a riveting conversation. I won't discuss something you mentioned. Speak, then. That's enough for now. Then I suggest we move on. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Actually, never mind. Very well. Let's go. As you wish. Good talk. Hello, Shale. How do you feel? Oh. I would expect the golems to be different. Different? Different than what? Different than a statue? Different than a log? Should I talk in a monotone? Yes, master, I exist to serve the master. I shall kill for the master and only for the master. Perhaps it expected me to have a booming voice. Recite limericks. <laughs> I can recite limericks if it likes. Are they dirty limericks? Mostly, they involve slaughtering pigeons in creative and invasive manners. I have never met another golem. I have no idea what one might be like, or why I wouldn't be like them. Why? Has it met other golems? Did they not sound as I do? I probably actually would have, being a dwarf and royal. You seem very animated. I don't know what other golems might be like, but I am already superior by virtue of my free will. This is a good thing. You're assuming that there aren't any other golems with free wills. I agree, being a golem would be handy. Imagine the benefits. No need to eat or sleep or perform other functions. Walk under water, crush the heads of every opponent. The possibilities are limitless. Barring the occasional 30 years or so of paralysis, there's little to compare. Now stop talking so much. The wagging of its moist little tongue is distracting. Hmm. Hi, Morgan. I have something for you. What do you mean? I mean that I have a gift for you. Tis a ring. Now before you get any foolish notions, let me explain. Flemeth once gave me the ring because it allowed her to find me no matter where I went, in case I was ever captured by hunters. I disabled its power as soon as we left the wilds. Recently, however, I thought to change it. Now, I will be able to find whoever wears it instead. It's a sweet gift, thank you. It is not given out of sentimentality. I believe you were too important to risk. If you were captured, this ring would allow the rest of us to find you quickly. So you're giving me it purely out of practicality? I have no desire to see us part company so soon. Not unless we wish to, that is. Do not read more into it than is there. You have supplied me with equipment. Certainly this is not so very different, is it? Does it do anything else? 
Flemeth used to say that t'was a link between us, one that I presumed worked both ways. I never tested it, but I doubt she would have lied over such a thing, so it would mean I am linked to you as much as you to I. So I could find you if need be? I do not know. As I said, I never tested it. Perhaps. Thank you for the gift. You are welcome. Perhaps it will be useful someday. All right, and... I'm not sure to whom else I would ever give this, but here you go, Morgan. <gasps> Mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. Massive magic. I'll talk to her again later. Alright. One thing that seems kind of weird with this is that Merrick's blade simply gives bonuses against Darkspawn. The thing is. I recall the story of Merrick. He didn't. He was mostly involved with um, ousting yeah, Orlay from Ferelden. He didn't have much to do with uh, Darkspawn. But anyway. I guess this is just something I'm going to be doing for the appropriateness value. I'm going to be switching. Hellister to being in Kalen's armor. Yeah, he's just borrowing his brother's armor, that's all. Look anything like the armor did on Liliana. Uh. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? Uh, I've already got a cheese knife. Let's see your wares, Poto. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Indeed. Yes. Indeed.
didn't kill him. What? Why not? He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red-haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the... You came to kill me? It probably means you, yes. Who sent you? Why am I wanted dead? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! <laughs> money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. <laughs> Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. It wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. Your life for information, then. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denrim. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. Get lost before we change our minds. Don't worry. I'll not trouble you no more. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. Why now? Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. What do you wish to do? She needs to answer for what she's done to me. If we are ever in Denerim, I would like to seek her out. All right, I doubt it will take long. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. Where the fuck's the trap? Oh, sorry for swearing. Um. It is kind of surprising the number of Kunari mercenaries we've seen here. Just can't seem to be everywhere. Okay. Hello, Dread. Warden. In my travels, I found this strange metal in a crater. This... This is star metal. If you give this to me, I will craft for you a thing of legend. How much will it cost me? Nothing. My family owes you much. 
I'd like a two-handed sword. And so it shall be. It is done. I call this blade Starfang. May it serve you well. I must rest after my exertions. Warden? Fastest weaponsmith in the world. I do for you, Warden. Buy some stuff. Certainly. Uh, oh, oh my. That's a little bit closer than I was hoping to be that guy. That'll be where I'll call it for this week. Um, thank you for watching. Do any relevant things with YouTube's buttons, and have a nice day.